Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the storied life of A.J. Fickrey by Gabrielle Zevin. This story follows A.J. Fickrey who is kind of a curmudgeonly type bookseller. His wife has recently passed away and his bookstore isn't doing super great and he just seems to be really just depressed about the way his life has been since his wife has died. One day he decides to basically just drink an entire bottle of wine and he has this really old, I believe it's like an original manuscript of one of Poe's writing and he takes it out of the vault and reads it or like pursues it and then just kind of passes out and then when he wakes up the next morning the book is missing and this was very valuable so he is very upset about that. So all of that sort of leads to this one event where a mysterious package is left in his bookstore and it sort of changes the way the rest of his life goes. I don't want to say too much more than that about this story because I think a lot of what's interesting about this book is sort of just discovering how things unfold. This is a book that is basically made for people who love books. Like I said, A.J. Fickery is the owner of a bookstore, so a lot of what happens in this book sort of deals with that world. Um, you also find out a lot more about the publishing world, or at least I found out a lot more about the publishing world than I knew about before because there is a character in the story who also works in the publishing industry. Also at the beginning of every chapter there is a little bit of a book review. It's kind of like if you go to bookstores you'll see little like bookseller recommendations like written next to a book. It says the title of the book, the year it was published, and the author as well and then a small paragraph written by AJ Fickery about the book and these little tidbits are really interesting especially if you know the pieces of writing that he's talking about I'm sure it would be interesting. I kind of want to look up the ones that I don't know about and see what they're about just because I'm nerdy like that but all of these sort of mean something and you find out what they mean at the end of the book but just little things like that and then just all of the little stories in this book about how books impact the different characters in here. All of that just is really meant for people who love books or work in this world. So I feel like if you are someone who loves books, which I'm assuming you are if you're watching these videos because I don't know why else you'd be watching booktube videos, this is probably something that would ring true to you in certain ways. This is my first Gabrielle Zevin book. I haven't read anything else she's written so I can't really compare this to her other pieces of work. I know she's written some young adult books and she's written some sort of like fantasy type books. But one of the things I was thinking about a lot with this book is whether or not it would appeal to people who aren't like huge book people. Like if you're just like a casual book reader, I don't know how much this book would actually appeal to you because I feel like a lot of this is about how much books mean to us people who really love books. And so if you're not one of those people, I don't know how much this story would mean to you. So I would be really interested to see what like a casual reader of books would think of a book like this. Another thing about this story is the fact that it's not very difficult to predict what's going to happen and it's not surprising necessarily. I mean there are certain things that happen towards the end of the book that do surprise a little bit and do like pull at your heartstrings and just make you feel I will say but I wouldn't say that this was necessarily a book that like blew my mind or anything like that. I gave it a three out of five stars. I would probably give it closer to three and a half if I had the choice of giving half stars on Goodreads. This book is good. It's really sweet and I think that sometimes you just need sweet, nice books. So I definitely do recommend this book if you want something that's sort of like nice and just like comforting and warm. Like I feel like this is like a comfort book, like a good bowl of soup on a winter day, that type of book. Is this a book you should necessarily run out to your bookstore right now and read? I don't know about that, but I definitely think that if you pick up this book you won't necessarily regret it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the storied life of AJ Fickery. If you have read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it. Or if you've read any of Gabrielle Zevin's other works, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of those books. I'm thinking of picking up some of her other stuff because I know a lot of people really love her young adult things. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.